Tuesday's election, the voters of Multnomah County overwhelmingly reaffirmed their confidence in the independence of the Office of Citizen Involvement by expanding the powers of the Citizen's Office to include recruitment for the Charter Review Committee, ballot measure 26185. That's 71% of the voters, 202,549 voters, who have faith and confidence in our office. And yet only 36% had enough confidence to alter your term limits to give you the possibility of a third term. That glass wall you maintain on the sixth floor is emblematic of the wall that you maintain between yourselves and the citizens. You made my friend Barbara stand there Monday with 20 pounds of paperwork when she was trying to serve the First Amendment complaint, wouldn't let her come in or sit down at a desk, and another citizen, while we were there, was turned away with her grievance. That wall is coming down, and that will be my first resolution when the court rules for me to get onto the CIC. Chair Kafori, tear down that wall. You see, we are in legal, spiritual, and political battle now. To me, it's personal when you require a citizen to file declaratory relief. Do you know how much time it takes to file something like this to create a question of law, and then you want to go and change the status quo? So that I have to file for an emergency injunction, that's disrespectful. You have failed to appoint three citizens to the CIC, myself, Sonny Amos, who's here, and Jason Fudge, who didn't say hot, how high when you say jumped. That's not what an independent citizen office is about. To be appointed by the board, MCC 3251B, the board shall appoint, B, to the board for appointment, E. It doesn't say consider, it doesn't say or reject. It doesn't say you get to consider any factors. In the construction of a statute, the office of a judge is simply to ascertain and declare what is in terms or in substance contained therein, not to insert what has been omitted, nor to omit what has been asserted. Plain language, that's all we've got. And you have violated it. You also violated, violated it by creating your own recruitment process when that is an E, the Office of Citizen Involvement shall notify nominating groups. The Office of Citizen Involvement shall receive nominations. That didn't happen here. All these people you recruited without lawful authority whose nominations did not go through the office as required by E, you're being unfair to them, misleading them, putting them into an untenable, chaotic situation. Hillary Clinton yesterday told us. She said, don't give up on the things that you believe in. Continue to fight for the things that you believe in. And I'm going to continue to fight for an office, an independent office that has been strongly reaffirmed by the voters of this county.